Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. Another relatively straightforward one today, I hope. <laughs> I say that sometimes and then it ends up not being that. Uh, but this one is a good reminder of why you bring business cards to markets. Because lady called me up out of the blue and said, I picked up your business card at a market a couple of years ago. And I just wanted to see if you could make a set of those bear claw salad tong things. And I said, I've never done that, but I'm sure I could. And uh, so I took the job. We're going to climb up into the maple rack and see what kind of piece of maple we can find to make these things out of. And we're going to just do some bandsaw work today. Come along. Salad, salad server tosser things. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's grab some maple down and get going. Come on. There we go. This will work. It's super wonky, really twisted. I'm not going to be able to get anything other than short pieces out of this if it, whenever I decide to use it anyway. So we might as well break it down and make some salad scooper tonger things. It's about six inches wide. I need about, I don't know, let's say nine inches. I need about 18 inches of it. It's a huge knot right here. So I'm going to go... I'm going to cut about the 10 inches off the end, skip the knot, and do another 10 inches or so. So I only need about that much. Let's, uh, let's chop it up, and then we'll see how much, like, milling we have to do on it to get it flat enough. Shouldn't be much. Okay, so I want to keep as much thickness in these as I can. They're just over three quarters of an inch at this point, so I don't want to mill them down too much more because I've got to put a curve in them this way too. Uh, so I'm just going to hot glue them together and then draw out my bare paw thing. Uh, and then I'm just going to drill some holes and get cutting. And we'll at least have two that match and then we can finesse them later. Just enough hot glue to keep them held together while I cut them out on the bandsaw and drill press. That's going to be lots. And there we go. Let that dry for a minute and then we'll, uh, yeah, figure out what this thing's going to look like. So we're almost exactly six inches wide, a little over. So we'll start by marking the middle, which is three. We'll go an inch and a half either side of that. So our fingers are evenly spaced. That's where I'm going to drill the holes. Actually going to move the front two or the side two up just slightly. We'll cut there there and there pop some holes and then we'll draw our fingers out of the three quarter inch I think Forstner bit uh, seven eighths inch Forstner bit we'll go all the way through both of them We'll have our holes that are going to start, and then we'll draw our fingers from there. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we should draw it on there first, probably.
gonna give these a quick trim up to make them flush on the sides so that I'm a little bit closer to having the exact same pieces of wood. And now I'm just actually gonna mark the end of the fingers with the bandsaw so that I, when I peel these things apart, I know where they are on both boards and I can do my, my resawing, cutting the curves into them and still have the spots marked after I lose my pencil lines. And I'm gonna leave the outside ones for last so that I have a nice surface to be running them this way. go that's all I need all my fingers are marked on the end I can peel these apart and start working on the, the curves this way gonna mark sort of by eye a little curve on the side <laughs> guess we're gonna come in about a quarter inch and we're just gonna make a nice little gentle curve up to the tops of the fingers and then back down a little bit. That's all it needs. And I'll do this one. And then I'll use this one to mark the other one. I'm gonna do a little bit of a scoop down here too. We'll just get that nudged out of there and then we'll just clean it all up on the oscillating belt sander and then mark it on the other one. So I already know that this bandsaw blade is past its uh, best buy date. So this is gonna be pretty slow going through six inches of maple. But I'll cut a couple of relief cuts in the underside that should help. And worst case scenario, I just do most of the work over on the belt sander. saw blades before you need them. <laughs>
right, so now we just got to reconnect our uh, the start of our fingers there with the edge of our holes. And we're getting close. Yep. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. This one. And then we'll do the outside profile at the end. just finish off our outside profile and get the rest of it cut sand it up and uh, finish it oh, maybe a little swoop in over here something give or take like that So I've been looking at them and feeling them and they I think they're still a little bit too hefty so before I get all the way down to final sanding and stuff I am just gonna thin them out a little bit more in through here lose a little bit more of their heft just to uh, yeah make them a little bit easier to handle just think at this point they're still a little bit too beefy so we'll just get one more cut over on the bandsaw just to thin them out a little bit relieve some of the weight and, uh, and then we'll get we'll get them done
so apparently I was working with Cherry this whole time, <laughs> which is, I apparently misidentified that board when I put it up on the rack, but I think she'll be happy with them. I'm very happy I added some extra scoop on the side. Uh, they're still big, but they're not unwieldy, I don't think. So I'm going to go deliver these to the client and order myself a new bandsaw blade. <laughs> And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Make sure you're subscribed and you click that like button if you like what I do here. Head over and check out my Patreon page and see how you can support me over there too. Bear claw salad donger scooper tossers. <laughs> right on. Bye for now.